we hope MMS will help us resolve mystery of collision-less reconnection. And, uh, but this is the fact that it's very hard to observe this tiny spot in the space, and we don't know where is it. So we hope to see it. But the more interesting problem um, for us is to study reconnection exhaust. So each reconnection generates something, some flow. And this flow goes to the Earth, and we can observe it. So uh, we have different scenarios of reconnection. And for each scenario, we hope we will observe some particular features of this flow. So our aim is try to identify reconnection mechanisms studying these flows. So in our peak simulation, we can do everything. We can, we can model uh, electron distributions, ion distributions, pressure, uh, whatever. Uh, MMS can observe. And uh, because MMS is going to resolve electron scale, I think this is, will be especially important for us. So we have hope to understand differences between different reconnection scenarios from our simulations and then apply this to MMS. As long as I remember, as, as I remember me, I always wanted to be a scientist. <laughs> so that's short question to your uh, difficult as, uh, short answer to a difficult question. Uh, but uh, more specifically, um, I think well, that was a long way. Uh, I went to uh, to special school with uh, physics and mathematics in. Uh, Belarus, where I was born, and then I moved to Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, uh, where I also was involved in in, um, in scientific work from from last uh, last years of uh, university, and then I, I I I've got an appointment at Moscow Space Research Institute, where uh, there were a lot of wonderful people. Uh, pioneers of space air and uh, it's just impossible if you if you if you if you, if you every day meet these people you just cannot be um, you just cannot uh, keep yourself from doing that <laughs> and uh, that became my life uh, and uh, at some point when I've got my PhD uh, degree I decided to 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 go at NASA so and at NASA, I again found a lot of amazing, fascinating things, uh, wonderful people, and well, I'm just doing what I always wanted to do. That's all. I think there are a lot of things that may may uh, attract young people. Uh, for me. Okay, there are several things, so I will try to list them. First, you always have support from uh, brilliant, uh, brilliant people around you, and uh, this is very important. Every day you spend with a wonderful, uh, wonderful, nice uh, people who help you, who support you in your in your in your um, in your everyday tasks. That's very important. The other thing. And it's, this is I think this is especially true for science job. Um, you have a big chance to observe or to find something which was never observed before. So, and this is um, just a um, fascinated moment. If you understand something, maybe very small, maybe very, very small, a tiny piece of nature, but nobody uh, seen that before. And this is really exciting thing. And. Uh, uh, I think young people might try to do that, and they will find, yes, it works. And then they will never stop. <laughs>